today I am sharing my picks for free plus size or size inclusive patterns for the So Frugal 2022 challenge. Hi, my name is Megan. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And if you've never been to my channel before, welcome. Today, I'm going to be sharing my picks for the hashtag So Frugal 2022 challenge. So today we also have a video from Hales More Sewing. So if you haven't checked out Hales' channel, she is amazing. She is one of the YouTubers that I watched before I started my channel and definitely inspired me to do this myself. And so I was so excited when I saw that we were paired together today um, to share our thoughts on free patterns, fabric from our stash, and what we're going to make up for the challenge. I'd also like to thank Sam and Ruan from Frugalissima and the Yorkshire Sew Girl for doing all of the amazing work to organize this challenge, coordinate the sponsors and the prizes, create the schedule of video content creators, and just keep everybody on the wheels. They were the brainchilds behind this challenge. Last year they had the Frugal Frocks Challenge, which was super interesting to watch and I really enjoyed it. And so I hope that my video today um, gives you some tips and ideas for plus size or more size inclusive free sewing patterns. So first I'm going to go over the rules for the challenge. If you if you haven't seen any of the other videos, this is day three, so be sure to check out the hashtag um, and watch all the videos as they roll out this month and into March. So the gist of the challenge is, is to pick a free pattern, um, some fabric from your stash, and then in the month of March, sew up a garment and reveal it on March 31st. And I really like the impetus behind this challenge, which is to show that sewing and our hobby, which can be very expensive at times, can actually be really affordable and really accessible. We don't have to spend a ton of money to make beautiful clothes and have fun doing it. So I wanted to share my thoughts on some more size inclusive or plus size sewing patterns, specifically for women's style clothing. So um, today I have a couple skirts and a blouse to share. Um, Lots of the free patterns that are available come in a pretty narrow size range. There are more and more free patterns, I feel like, every week. Um, there's lots of great resources online, so if you Google free plus size sewing patterns, um, Broad in the Seams is a website that has a great database or list, as well as there are a number of other vloggers and Instagram content creators that are in our community that I believe will be sharing some size inclusive patterns too. But when I went through the patterns that appealed to me, um, I wanted to make sure that I was picking things that were a little bit, um, definitely were going to fit my body and I hope that would fit other bodies that were both smaller and larger than mine. For the most part, the patterns I'm sharing today have a pretty expansive size range. There is one that doesn't, but I think it's a pretty easy one to grade up if you want to do that. So I have sewed lots of free sewing patterns. Um, I have made the Love Notions Laundry Day Tee was one of the first garments that I ever made. And lots of the free patterns that are available are for really basic garments like t-shirts, tank tops, leggings, pajama pants. So I wanted to pick a few things that were a little bit different. So I really went searching through some of um, the mood pattern database, like Mood Fabrics is a fabric store that has a lot of size inclusive free patterns. Um, they were a bit more avant-garde than I sort of wanted to approach with this challenge, but they have so many really cool coats and gowns and dresses, so worth a look there. There's also lots of free sewing patterns um, from fabric.com and from all of the other uh, Facebook sewing groups, but again, I wanted to try a few different things that were different, and I also wanted to think about the fabric that I have in my stash that I'd like to use. So the first one I'm going to show you today is from a pattern company called DIBY Do It Better Yourself Club, and it's the Duchess skirt. So this is a high-low skirt pattern that you can make with either knit or woven fabric. It comes with a few different waistband options. So there's a knit waistband, a knit yoga waistband, I think it's got maybe a fold over, and then uh, a woven waistband with an invisible zipper in the back. I haven't made this pattern, um, I haven't made any of these patterns actually, but this one looks interesting to me. It's got a few different versions of the high-low hem, and I think you probably could also like extend it and just make it a regular skirt with that invisible zip if you were using a woven. I picked some fabrics from my stash that I thought would look good because you can see the back side or the wrong side of the fabric with the high-low hem. So I picked a few um, of my stash that I thought would be appropriate. In this case, they're both uh, knit fabrics, but I have some wovens that I think would also be cute, but I wanted to use these. This one is a, um, an ITY that I got from a fabric company that has since closed. 
Um, I have tons of this. It is on the back side. The wrong side is obvious. It's more uh, washed. It's a white on the back side. But I thought it's got some sparkles and this could be really fun. Um, it's a knit fabric, so I would use the knit waistband. It'd be quick. And I thought um, over a black bodysuit or with a black tank top or even as a swim cover up, it might be really cute. Pretty sassy, great for summer. It's got a little bit of a sequin sparkle in there. Uh, it's gold. Honestly, I don't know what else I would make with this fabric, but I thought um, a skirt would be really cute. The second fabric I picked up for the Duchess skirt is another knit fabric, and I thought this would be also really cute. So it's a black and white. Um, this is a DTY. It does have a white back, so the wrong side is different, but it's, you know what, you can still see the pattern through, so I think it would be okay. Um, it's a really classic paisley, and I thought this would be really sharp with you know, a solid colored tee, a black t-shirt or tank top. Again, a really dramatic print skirt. It's got a really nice drape to it. So I thought, thinking ahead to summer, this could be kind of fun. Um, it's not quite as jazzy as the one with the gold and the sequins, but it is, it's a bold print and I really liked that. So I thought this, this would make a great Duchess skirt. So this pattern goes up to a size uh, double zero to 36 is what it says in the listing, but then when I look at the size chart, their sizes are numbered differently. But it goes to a 63 inch waist, which is the key measurement on the skirt, and I think that's pretty inclusive. So definitely give it a try. Uh, if you've made this one, let me know in the comments below. I often find myself buying the sewing magazines that are imported from the UK when I'm at the specialty newsstand or at the chapters or Indigo. And that includes Simply Sewing, Sew Magazine, Love Sewing Magazine, some of the other ones. They always include a big four pattern, um, but they can be quite expensive. Those magazines are usually about $20 each by the time they come to Canada, and they're often, we're really often like four to six months behind. So the Christmas issues are coming out just as soon as everybody wants to get into their shorts and bathing suits. But those magazines also include a wealth of sewing patterns that often you can download the pattern off of their website and the instructions are either in the magazine or sometimes they're available with the pattern itself. So I have two patterns to share today from Sew Magazine and I'll include links to these and all of the patterns I'm talking about in the description box below. So the first one is a pullover sweatshirt. It's sort of like a, a nautical vibes I'm getting from it. Um, this one has a more limited size range. So this one comes um, up to a UK size 24, which is a 46 and a half inch bust and a 48 and a half inch hip. Right now my hip measurement exceeds that. My hip measurement is at about 51, 52 inches. But this is a sweatshirt and I think it would hit at the high hip and there would be enough ease. I've also graded out sweatshirt patterns. It's just quite straight cut, really straightforward. What I like about this one, it has a V, interesting V neckline and a facing, which I think would be fun to sew. And then a drawstring back um, without a hood. So I liked the looks of this one. I have two different fabrics that I picked out from my stash that I thought would work really well for this. The first one is this um, sort of tie dyed French terry fabric that I got from Blended Thread Fabrics a couple years ago. I bought this uh, to make a sweatshirt for my daughter, which I made, but I bought tons of it. And I thought it, um, maybe mom could have a, a sweatshirt too. I thought it was really beachy and casual and I thought it worked well with the vibe of that, that pullover, um, the Olivia sweatshirt. It's, it, I, I thought it could be really fun and I could look for a woven, um, in one of these colors, a woven twill tape or even just use bias tape, like store-bought bias tape. I have a lime green. I think it would look really nice as that drawstring. So that's an option. The next option is a super frugal one because this is actually fabric I got for free um, from my mom's fabric stash that she had. I'm sure she bought this when I was a child, so probably sometime in the late 80s, maybe the early 90s, um, and I dug it out of a trunk in the basement. This is, um, I think this is an interlock because of the way it looks, um, or maybe it's a, a really lightweight sweatshirting, but it's got a nice, nice enough stretch. Um, and it's this pink floral. And so I also thought, you know, it's lightweight. I love, I love a floral. I thought that I could use this frugal fabric that is um, from my mom's fabric stash that I inherited and make a free pattern. And that would be double frugal, double frugal for this challenge. So that could be kind of fun. 
The other pattern that I really liked from Sew Magazine was in their Sew Plus section of free patterns. So I think that means an expanded size range, but I wasn't totally sure. Um, and it is a pussy bow blouse from the Great British Sewing Bee. I love a pussy bow blouse. I love the retro vibes on it. It goes up to, um, it's a size is eight to 20, but then 20 has a 53 inch bust and a 54 inch hip. Um, so I don't know if that's a finished measurement. That, that's the funny thing about those sewing magazine patterns is sometimes their sizing is a, a little bit strange. Um, to me, that seemed like a bit of an odd, so it must be a finished measurement, but anyway, um, that would fit on my body and it has, you know, a, a cute yoke detail. I think it would be fun to sew. Um, it's got a real retro vibe to it and I really liked that. So I picked up two different woven fabrics from my stash that I could try that pattern in. These are both from Fabric Land. So this is um, a red tensile look uh, rayon. So it's got that nice, it's super soft, really drapey, quite dreamy. It's really um, wrinkled because it was in my fabric stash uh, folded on the shelf, but I thought that would would be gorgeous. It's just got that sheen. I thought it was really giving me sort of that sand washed silk vibe from the 80s and 90s. Um, I know I for sure had some blouses like that that so did my mom and um, that would be really cute. And the other one is also red uh, and this would be a really retro looking um, red and white polka dot. This is a rayon chalet. Would make a lovely blouse I think. Uh, it just would drape nicely. The tie would be beautiful. So. Those are some options if I was gonna make the Pussy Bow blouse from Sew Magazine. Another sewing magazine that is available uh, to purchase, but it's an American magazine, is called Sew Daily. And I feel like I hit the jackpot when I was looking at patterns on Sew Daily because I found two downloadable eBooks, essentially, um, called Sew Quick and Easy. So there's volume one and volume two. And in volume two, which was released in 2021, the patterns have an incredible size range. So they go up to a size 34, which is a 57.5 inch bust and a 60 inch hip. So I feel like that's pretty good. Um, but there's tons of patterns in there and also on their website, a number of different hack ideas for the patterns. So they have um, a skirt, a wrap skirt with a ruffle, a ruffle on it. There's a camp shirt, so a button down camp style shirt, which I think would be super cute. Um, and lots of different hacks. So in that, I think there's also a basic t-shirt pattern. So there'd be lots of great choices. And so I think um, I liked the wrap skirt and I have a piece of fabric in my stash that I've had for quite a while. This is a, um, it's, it's, it's polyester for sure. It said it was rayon, but it's, it's definitely a polyester. Um, just a, a, a cut of this fabric. It's got this really cool mod floral on it. I thought it would make a really great wrap skirt and then I liked the ruffled tier on the skirt. I just thought it was something different and this would look really nice. Like it's a bold print but it also would look quite interesting I think gathered along the hem. Um, so yeah that's an option for this one. I thought it would be super cute. Um, if I had any of uh, a crisper cotton poplin I would definitely make that camp shirt. I don't have any of that in my stash though but if you do um, that might be an option for you like a crisp cotton or a really crisp linen. All of the linens that I have are really like a really soft viscose blend and I don't think that would hold the shape for the collar quite as nicely. But again, like I feel like I hit the jackpot with those pattern books. They've got, they're great downloadable free magazines, um, tons of patterns. If you listen to the So News podcast, it's the hosts have written a lot of the articles because they work for So Daily Magazine. So quite enjoyable to read, lots of great tips and ideas. So absolutely check those out and it was really nice to see quite refreshing to see that larger size more inclusive size band represented in that magazine because quite often i'll download a free you know free sewing ebook and the pattern sizes stop at like uh, you know a 46 inch or a 44 inch hip but that, that doesn't get quite as far as i need it to Anyway, those are my ideas. I would love to know um, if you're planning on participating. So the big reveal is March 31st. I'm gonna make one of these garments um, and you know, let me know which one you think I should make. Um, I look forward to hearing your thoughts. If you're gonna participate, make sure you check out all the other videos and especially the ones from Ruan and Sam uh, to get the lowdown on the, all of the prizes and the sponsors and the rules for the challenge um, and who you need to tag on Instagram. And I will see you soon.